Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you're having a wonderful night. It is a very, very chilly, cool 20 degrees out here uh, in Ohio at RV Nation. But today I'm gonna give you a tour of the 2022 Cedar Creek 385TH. This is such a nice floor plan. It's got your, uh, you know, your front living room. It's got a garage in the rear that will fit, you know, a full-size golf cart. And this customer ordered it with the full body paint and the sapphire decor. And I think it is absolutely beautiful. But today I'm gonna to start off by showing you the garage kind of in travel mode, then do an interior uh, tour. Come back around, show you the garage with the roof raised up. And then, uh, you know, point out a couple things that I like here on the exterior. Probably wrap this up in about 15 to 20 minutes. And if you guys like RV videos, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for me. My goal is to hit 5,000 and any help that you can provide would be fantastic. But all right, like I said, you got this back garage area, 2022 Cedar Creek 385 TH. That TH is the toy hauler. It features nine uh, tie downs back here, along with a nice rubber flooring to protect it from getting torn up. And you also have some diamond plating around as well. So that way, you know, it maintains kind of a good appearance. Uh, they put this little sticker on here. When fully raised up, it can be 84 inches tall, 61 inches wide, and 110 inches deep. There's also some lock boxes back there that you can put, you know, a couple little hidden items. But I did want to show to you in this mode, this is where it's down. So when this rises up, the bed on the inside gets pushed up against the ceiling, but that allows you, you know, to kind of have a more functional area, you know, inside as opposed to a smaller garage like this. But we'll get back to this back here. Uh, just keep that in mind that it is here and it's coming here a little bit later in the video. Again, that decor, that is that sapphire. You got that nice white, blue, gray, and black tones there looking real nice and sharp. All right, so we're gonna walk in. You obviously got the bathroom right here. You got your island kitchen with opposing slide outs. And then I'm gonna start up in the living room and work my way back to the bedroom. But check out how sharp this decor looks. It's one of my favorite decor, you know, appearances. You have some white cabinets, some brown outlines, and you have the linen decor for the, the two couches and the theater seating here. But check out how much space you have. These floors are looking good. You got your fireplace. You have a retractable TV. So if you want to watch some TV and kick it, you can. It just raises right out. Or if you want counter space and a nice view, you just come right over here. You got that button. And as you can tell, it is pretty quick. It's really quiet, really nice and smooth system. A lot of times in some of the lesser brands, even that I carry, that sounds like it's grinding a little bit and it's wiggling back and forth and it's just chaotic. But it allows you to have this really nice view out the front with a tinted window. And if you want to block out some sun, you got your day shades and you have your night shades. So, you know, really versatile kind of front area. I think it really just adds to the floor plan in general. You also have a set of outlets and a set of outlets right there as well, along with storage to the left and the right. You also have your IRV technology speaker. So that's going to be, you know, for inside and outside music, kind of zone it out however you please. Inside, outside, both sides. This fireplace is a setting to go up to 100 degrees. It will easily heat up, you know, this entire front area. I actually, even though that it's 20 degrees outside today, I had to turn it off and I only had it set, you know, to about 65, 70 degrees. So that thing just gets roasting so quick. Save you some money on propane. You know, just use that campgrounds electric. It's just a nice feature to have. So to the left and to the right, you have the same type of storage setup. Bada bing, bada boom, you're good to go. Plenty of room for knickknacks. Oh, I forgot to mention too, if you're not familiar with these fireplaces, they do have this, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, you, know, you can change the different light settings on there. What was that? Three different modes. So I think that's pretty neat. You know, it just adds to the experience. You're paying a lot for these campers, so I think you should get a lot. So couch right here that pulls out to make a bed. It'll meet in the middle. Couch right here that will pull out to make a bed right in the middle. You're gonna see you have exit, emergency exit and emergency exit. So if something happens and you can't get down the stairs, on either side, you're good to go. 
And what's cool about these uh, these beds, actually here, I'll show it to you on this one so I don't kind of block my exit. A lot of times you have to lift up and kind of pull out. It's a clunky system, but the Cedar Creek has this really nice couch. You grab this, and keep in mind, I've got a camera in one hand. I mean, you see how easy that was. You know, that, that's a nice feature to have. Now to get it in, you're gonna have to, a little bit harder with one hand, but you gotta pull it up right here. And then I just kind of use my foot right there. But how neat is that? You know, time and ease is everything, and that cause that is very, very low effort. You also see on every window, even the small windows here on the side, you know, that window right there, they all come with those day shades and those night shades or the tinted window. So really nice touch to it. Whew, sorry, I'm a little out of breath. I've been uh, fighting off a little bit of a cold here, but do what you got to do. The Allure furniture, you got yourself some theater seating. These are power. So right here, click of a button, you're good to go. You also have a little USB port as well. That way you can plug in, you know, your phone or your devices, whatever you want to do. You have another set right over there as well. So let me give you another little look here of this front room. Really sharp looking, plenty of space, you know, in kind of the day mode, as I call it, or the night mode. You know, you got two of those queen beds that pull out, meet in the middle. You can easily sleep four up here, or if you're a recliner sleeper like myself, pop a movie on that awesome TV, take yourself a snooze, kick up your feet and relax, you know, enjoy kind of the nighttime of camping. So that brings us to this kitchen area. I might as well show you this too. You got these little beams across. You know, it's just a nice little finish touch to it. It's wood, it looks nice, feels nice, just kind of adds on, you know, to the appearance. But we're gonna go down here again. The flooring looks really nice. There's plenty of room. You got a little carpet on the slides, which I know some of you guys don't like, but there's a good reason for it. You know, it's just kind of the way that slides are, unfortunately. But you got some power hookups. You got your uh, USBs, three windows, one, two, and three, all of which are good size. So that way you can get a good view. And then I do think that these lighting fixtures, you know, they look good. You got this little wire, you know, around it, little mire, yeah, little metal mesh. Uh, it's looking sharp. Obviously, we got the plastic on. We're going to remove that here, um, here soon. Got a customer picking this up tomorrow. You can also extend this out, put two more chairs down, play some euchre, have a meal for more than just two. It's just nice. I also have a couple more USBs there underneath. So swinging around. We have this beautiful island kitchen. You're gonna see you got some accent lighting. You got the lighter little square cut out there, just looking sharp, looking nice. That just, uh, you know, just adds to the appearance. But check out how wide this is. You know, back in the 2020s, these were about two inches shorter. So it's nice to see them widen this up, but it doesn't cost, you know, kind of walk around space. It's just nice to have. Solid surface countertops. Split stainless steel bowls. Both of them are very good size. Both of them come with a drying rack. This little swirly doodad, you know, real, uh, real nice to have. Your high rise residential faucet. Pull that out. Doing the dishes from all angles. Oh, it's getting away from me a little bit. And then you got plenty of storage. You have a place for, you know, kind of like a little sponge brush or, you know, whatever you want to put in there. Underneath the sink, not only do you have access to some plumbing here in the back, you also get a little trash can and plenty of places to put, you know, some cleaning products. Over here on the right, you got one, two, three, and four pull-out drawers. They're all going to look like that. They're not all going to have this. So the other ones are just going to be open space. That gives you a really nice view. And if you noticed how that closed, you know, check this out. This is that smooth close, that soft close. It's really nice to have that. All right, so around here, before you get to the living room, it's not really a desk. It's kind of, I don't know what you want to call this, but a nice place to set up maybe a drink bar, a coffee station, maybe just use it for some extra prepping space. Heck, I don't know. But you got a couple outlets, a couple more USBs. You got some more storage, all of which, again, with that soft close.
one, two, and three. All of these are going to be the same. And some storage right here. So it looks like this camper, they did install uh, the side camera. So there's going to be a four camera safety system on the back of this. You got one in front of the door, two up in the front sides, left and right, and then one in the back. You also have a tire pressure monitor system, which is nice. You know, that way you can avoid maybe that blowout when you're driving down the road. You know, unfortunately, it happens to most campers eventually. Some additional storage right there. Your King Wi-Fi satellite system. So get some Wi-Fi while you're on the road. Everyone knows with COVID, life is kind of changing around there. The world is changing. People are working on the road more. So having Wi-Fi is very important to some of the customers. So right here, we got this kind of in the travel mode. So let me unscrew this. I'll show you that the inside of this bad boy looks like. Not joking around. That thing has more swirls than you could imagine. So very secure. <laughs> All right, an absolutely massive residential refrigerator. You can see up in the top left, you also have a place that you can put a filter on, you know, get rid of some of that, you know, that hard campground water. Ice maker, very important. It amazes me that these campers are coming with these refrigerators. I mean, a couple years ago, this was the Mac Daddy for a house. Now it's coming in just about every one of your, you know, luxury fifth wheels like this is. You got the Greystone oven over here. This is one of the top two industry's largest ovens. There is this one and the Insignia, both of which are massive. You can cook a full turkey for Thanksgiving or whatever you need. But you have four stovetop burners. And then check out the size of that oven. You know, obviously you can adjust those racks to whatever you need uh, to cook. But very neat that they have that. You got this backsplash in the back, really nice looking. You know, pretty sharp. Again, solid surface countertops. A big LG microwave. Don't need to go into that. And you'll see even these kind of what people would call, you know, your more unimportant storage areas, they still have these hinges on there so it holds it up hands-free, which is just kind of a nice overlooked, you know, quality aspect for a camper that so many people kind of just pass over when you're shopping. You don't realize it's something that you wish you had until you, uh, until you do. Got a pantry here. It's got a little bit of a lip there to help keep things in. You also have a couple of these pullouts. So obviously that goes all the way down. You're gonna notice even this glass has a nice little, you know, kind of decor touch to it. Got your fuse box down here. So if anything pops, you know exactly where you're going. Everything's nice and coordinated. A little light should pop up on any of those trouble areas. Solar charge controller. This camper comes with a couple solar panels up top. You know, just nice to have. Pretty self-explanatory there, but you know, you can check your charge levels. You know, how are your batteries looking? Battery type, all that good stuff. Now this right here is where you control, you know, all your master lights. There are individual controls there on the walls all over. So you can see I just zoomed in, but it's nice to have it on one spot. Just boom, master light off. Or you can kind of pick and pop, you know, which ones you do want. You also have some electric readouts, your HVAC system, so you can set everything to what you want it to. And then, of course, the slides, you know, all right there. This is also accept, uh, accessible uh, from a cell phone app as well. You got some storage up here. That about wraps up the kitchen. I'll show you this lighting fixture up here. It's real nice with the accent lighting. You got some residential bulbs, real nice. Oh, here's that app I was telling you about. It's the uh, the Vega Touch Myra. So you have Myra and Firefly, you know, depending on which one you got. iOS and Android devices right there. Bada bing, bada boom, you in business. Okay, so the bathroom. Not the largest bathroom in the market, but it's definitely serviceable. You know, you can sit down without banging your knees on either side, you know, or the, uh, or the counters here. Again, solid surface countertops. You got yourself a sink. Nothing too large, but it definitely gets the job done. Hello, my name is Hunter. Nice to meet you. Some storage there behind. Max air vent controls, outlets, your Truma water heater. So that thing can run hot water pretty much all day long and you're ready to roll. That max air vent is located up here. So it gives you a little bit of added air circulation. 
So check out how tall this is. And they still went ahead and added in, you know, a little, um, I don't know what you want to call that. I don't know why I'm blanking. Uh, you can let some sunlight in there. But good size shower. You know, I'm six feet, 300 pounds, so a good size shower is always really important to me. And I can stand in this no problem, you know, and still have plenty of room to spare. So really nice feature to have that. Some additional storage up here, maybe for some towels, maybe some TP ski. You know what you do in there. Little pocket door. And I like they did do the added touch of having some grab handles. So if you have a hard time getting up and down stairs, you know they thought about you. Okay, so I showed you the garage, all right? So this is where things get pretty cool. That garage, the only way to have that added height for the golf cart is, you know, you click the little button inside the garage. This raises up to the ceiling uh, when you're kind of in what I would call travel mode. So that allows you to get the headspace that you need for, you know, that, that um, the golf cart. Either side of the bed, which you can walk around, by the way. So that's important to show that off. You got storage up above. It goes all the way across. You also have outlet, outlet, USB, USB, as well as a cadet wall heater. So between that cadet wall heater and the fireplace up front, unless it is a super chilly day out, you're probably not going to need to turn on your propane, which is huge in terms of, you know, saving money. Nice size window over here and another smaller emergency exit window over there. This is going to be, you know, where you can put some hanging items. And then, you know, you got kind of, I guess your dresser will be right over here. So you got four drawers, plenty of room to put all your stuff. Got yourself a TV. Kick back, watch a movie, relax at night. These are the chairs. And this is going to be, you know, they put like a little place where you can put your hangers up there as well. So that would be definitely, you could put even some, you know, some dress pants or, you know, some jeans, whatever you're hanging. It gives you a full length ability. Right behind this, you can either use this as a closet or what a lot of people do is put in, you know, a more residential washer and dryer. So that way this is suitable for more of a full-time living atmosphere. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you outside. I'm going to go ahead and lift that up, show you the inside, and then do a quick tour, you know, of the outside. But again, if you guys dig this video, uh, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for me. Maybe drop a comment with some information that, you know, I could add for you next time. Definitely trying to get better, you know, kind of grow the audience, do better by myself and my family. All right, so back to the garage. To raise this up, right here. So again, this goes up to 84 inches of clearance at its highest, 61 inches wide and 110 deep. That way you can measure, make sure this fits for whatever toy you're putting back here. But you do have these nine tie downs so you can drive with everything fully secured i have seen people just put stack up totes for that super long trip you know out east or out west wherever the heck you're from but check out the size of that all right let's go show you the inside here so this is what it's going to look like in the bedroom when you're in kind of travel mode. Pretty cool little setup. I really am a, I'm a big fan of these toy hauler kind of more traditional fifth wheels. I don't know if you could consider them a, a toy hauler, luxury toy hauler or what, but they are fancy. They are nice. They allow you to have a more livable toy hauler if you're not somebody that's got, you know, some Can-Ams or anything. Put a Harley back there, a golf cart, whatever you need. All right, so now I'm gonna start kind of just outside tour, maybe spend five minutes out here, not too much. And quite frankly, it is freezing outside of this camper. But you got your really nice big size awning. Looks like, I guess off the top of my head, about 18 feet or so. I'll put the specs down in the description. But you got your LED lights running out all, all throughout. Again, the frameless tinted windows are nice looking. You also have some storage right here along with an outdoor TV. And you got yourself a little mini fridge as well. 
Your step above, solid surface entry steps. Real solid, most campers are heading that way. Like I told you, they have the tire pressure monitoring system, so that will pop You know, if there's an issue. You have your road armor suspension, so a little bit upgraded suspension. Six point hydraulic auto leveling, so one click of a button, you're good to go. And you're gonna notice the customer on this camper happened to put on you know, the slide toppers. If you do that here in-house at the dealership, you're looking at about $700 a piece. So they're a little bit more expensive if you get them separately at the dealership as opposed to at the manufacturer. So if you're ordering a camper and that's something you're interested in, you might just want to get it from the manufacturer. All right, so in here you got some pass-through storage, a lot of good room, not too much to go over there, but if you ever need some service work, you got your manifold system kind of goes out through there, not manifold system, I'm sorry, but you got everything kind of labeled over there. So that way, you know, the mechanic can do what they have to do. One of the four cameras, one was above the door I forgot to show you. This is the other. On the other side, you have one as well. Really good storage right here. It's also prepped for a generator if you choose to add one of those on, assuming the manufacturer does not have a shortage of them. You got your air ride um, hitch, so that's nice to have. LED lights around the front looking sharp help you up when you're backing up to hook up as well. Here's the other observation camera. The controls for your leveling. And this right here, it looks like they got an inverter, it looks like they put on an extra battery. Your cord reel goes in there nice and easy. Here's your hydraulic room controls. So if you, uh, if you wanna close up just one room, you know, you can pop this to the left and all of a sudden that one's disconnected. You got your battery disconnect, a place for some water, black tank flush, all that good stuff, all in one central location. Again, the slide toppers on every slide. It's a good place right there to show off that sapphire. I think that's just a good looking paint job. Your Truma hot water heater, some access you know, for some of your maintenance items. A little bit of storage, all of which are slam latch doors. A thick door, not any thinner than anything else there. And then you're gonna see the metal slam latch, so you don't have to worry about being too rough with it. Some of those plastic ones will break off over time. That brings us back to the back of the camper where you're gonna see you have a ladder to access the top. You know, in a time where ladders are a little bit short, a lot of places are cutting them out. The Cedar Creek has not. You know, this thing is a Goliath. It's hard to get up there without the ladder. That's why they like to include it. And you can also see that little light right there. That is the backside of, you know, that camera. But I think that just about wraps it up for me. I've gone full circle. But again, this was the 2022 Cedar Creek 385, an awesome floor plan. My name is Hunter. Hope you guys enjoyed it and have a great night. See ya.